Hello everyone. Excellent morning everyone. Excellent morning to every one of us. We are all highly welcome to this morning's broadcast. Welcome, welcome and happy weekend. How is your weekend going? Just let me know in the comment section how your weekend is going. Great, lovely, restful, exciting. Wow. <laughs> We are all highly welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. So today, like we saw in our um, uh, adverts, we're going to be looking at the good and bad exercises for lower back ache. So we are all highly welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. I'm going to share this on my pages and then we get going today. So if you join me this morning, kindly say good morning, type in good morning. So that I can greet you and then we get going this morning, okay? I'm actually on a short holiday or I'm ending a short holiday today. <laughs> so I'll soon be going back to the house. Who is online with me? Can you greet so I can greet you and welcome you before we get going? Let me at least know that. I can see some people. Yeah, I can see some people already online. So who is greeting first? We say good morning first before we move on. So today we're going to be looking at the exercises you can do if you're having back or lumbar pain, okay? If you're having back, lower back pain, what are some of the exercises you can do? Hello, Emmanuel Remio, Kenny, you're welcome. Welcome to this morning's bro broadcast. Thank you for joining me and thank you for greeting. Some people have joined, but... Maybe they are shy, maybe they don't want to greet, maybe they just want to be anonymous while they are watching, whichever one. I can see quite a lot of us. Hello, Chinenye Esther, you're welcome. Welcome to this morning's broadcast, okay? We'll soon be on the go. It's not going to be a very long one, like I said. I've been on a holiday, I need to go back and um, attend my school's PTK or PTA, like most schools we call it, okay? I've been on a holiday, just a short one. Hello, Adas Laraba, you're welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to this morning's broadcast. Today we're going to be looking at what are the bad exercises. So I'm going to be showing you three bad exercises you shouldn't do or activities you shouldn't do if you're having lower back pain, okay? And then I'm going to share with you 10 exercises that you should be doing that will help to relieve your um, back exercises. Many times when people have back pains, knee pains, ankle pains, you know, pains here and there, they resort to no movement. They just decide not to move. But I want to tell you that it's important that you still do some kind of exercises because they will help to, you know, grant activity, help you to have some kind of movement and massage an activity on those areas because if you remain still it's going to get worse it's not going to get better it's going to get worse if you stay in one place when you're having such pain so even if maybe if it's a sprain or a strain yes some massage some kind of massage some kind of light movement to help blood flow okay in that area is also very very important do find john agnes you're welcome Adam Slaraba, you're welcome. All right, so like I said today, I need to do whatever I'm doing very fast. <laughs> Say what I'm saying, train what I'm training, show what I'm showing very fast so that I'll be able to get it off and we can get moving out of here. All right, okay, so I can see everyone now. I think I can see everyone now, so we can get going this morning. All right, so you know, you may feel like resting most times when you have um, pains, like I was saying. The first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, let me rest that place. I shouldn't just stress it. Yes, you shouldn't stress. You shouldn't stress, but you need to move. You need to do some kind of massage, okay? Moving your back, especially like if you're having lower back pain. Moving that back is very, very important. It will help. 
because as blood is flowing then it's also relaxing it's also helping the nutrients to move okay so exercise for your lower back pain for your lower back can actually strengthen your back it can also strengthen your muscle your stomach muscles and also your leg muscles okay and this will help support your spine relieving you of back pain you find that, that sometimes when you have issues with your stomach with your legs it still goes to your your back as if the pain is moving i have some clients that when i'm talking with them they will be saying ah it's like this 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 pain is moving from the right side to the left side or moving from the left to the you know they'll just be describing moving from the shoulder man is moving to my arms and is moving to my fingers things like that okay all right so you need to some kind of exercises you do will also help that better blood flow movement to relieve you of such pains but if you're having very serious um, back ache very very serious so hot that you can't move it's better for you to move your to ask your healthcare professionals for what to do so depending on the cause and the intensity of your pain some of the exercises i'm going to be discussing today would be good for you and some should be avoided like i told you i'm going to be looking at three bad exercises you shouldn't be doing and then 10 good ones that you should be doing now the exercises the exercise is good for lower back pain no doubt about it but not all exercises are beneficial for your lower back okay any mild discomfort felt at the start of any of these exercises we're going to be discussing today should actually disappear as your muscles become stronger but if pain is more than mild and last for more than 15 minutes during your exercises you are advised to stop exercising and contact your um, doctor or your physiotherapist and things like that especially for people who have had long-standing pains that they are bearing with so because some exercises can actually make the back pain more and so should be avoided when you have acute lower back pain okay the first exercise you must avoid or activity you must avoid if you're having lower back pain is the um, touching your toes you know having some things that will make you um go to touch your toes or some things that can make you want to you know standing on your toes you know and then you're, you're standing and you're bending to go and touch your toes it's not very very good for you it's not very very good for you to embark on such exercises okay so and again some of the exercises also you should try to you you know it because when you you turn like that when you you turn like that it's going to when you turn like that it's going to give you some kind of um put greater risks and greater stress on the disc and ligament of your spine okay it will grant it will give you greater stress on the disc and then the ligament of your spine as you bend you know see how my hand is bending as you bend to touch your toes and they can actually overstretch your lower back muscle and your hamstrings okay they can actually overstress it your lower back muscles or your hamstring so I'm going to um, show you some of um, some of the exercises. I hope uh, my phone will behave itself and be <laughs> and be large enough. All right. So let me just use this um, this lady to show you. So what I mean is like this, okay? If you're having exercises, don't bend like this. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. So don't bend like this. If you're doing any exercise that will make you bend like this, you need to avoid it when you're having lower back pain, okay? It will actually create greater stress on your disc and the ligament of your spine. So you need to avoid such exercises touching your toe. The second exercise you need to avoid is also sit-up. Avoid sit-up exercises. You need to avoid sit-up exercises if you're having lower back pains okay um the one that they will tell you sit up and then they will tell you um 
get up, sit up. You, I'm going to show you now. So although you might think that sit up can strengthen your core or abdominal muscle, most people tend to use muscles in the hip when sitting up, okay? That hip muscle is used when you're sitting up. And sit up may also put a lot of pressure on the disc of your spine, okay? This is like sit up exercises. I'll, I'll try to make sure that um, I get you to see it, okay? So this is like sit up. You 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 um, sit up and then you go down. Such exercises should be avoided if you're having lower back pain. Then another one is also leg lifts. Okay, leg lifts are sometimes suggested as an exercise to strengthen your core. It will strengthen your core definitely, but that would be if you're not having lower back pain. It will also strengthen your lower abdominal muscles, okay? Like if you're, for people who want to take in their, tuck in their tummy or their bellies, it's a very good exercise, leg lift. But if you're having lower back pain, it's not good for you at that period. It's not good for you at that period if you're having lower back pain because exercising to restore strength to your lower back can be very harmful in relieving pain yet or helpful in relieving pain but lifting both legs together you take your two legs and you lift them together while you're lying on your back it's very very demanding on your core okay like this it's very very demanding on your core i hope we're seeing me if you're not seeing me please put on the comment section that you're not seeing the exercises I'm showing you. I won't be able to give you some sample, but one of, maybe next week Saturday, I'll show you the bad and good one by myself, but I'll just show you pictures today, okay? So this exercise, okay, is not very good, lifting two legs. So if you're weak, this exercise can make your back pain worse. It's good. It can make your back pain worse. And instead of trying to um, instead, what you could do is to lie on your back with one leg straight and then the other leg bent. Okay, keeping your lower back flat on the floor, then you slowly lift the straight leg up about some inches and hold it briefly and then lower it again. So instead of lifting both legs, if you're having back pain, instead of lifting both legs up and down, keep one down and then lift one slightly up don't lift both legs together if you lift both legs together it's going to aggravate it's going to make your lower back pain more okay so you need to avoid it then okay so i'm going to run through 10 exercises that can help you but remember that 2022 we are raising 100 global influencers people who will use their hobbies like if you watch me monday through sunday i do different things things that I love doing, okay? I love researching, I love teaching, I love cooking, I love experimenting new things, I love, let me put it good, teaching, I love counseling, I love helping people, and I've used all these, my passions and my talents and my hobbies, okay? To use our forever living product, okay? As an umbrella to reach the world as an umbrella to reach everyone, every part of the world. And so every day I'm touching lives globally. And that's why I'm raising 100 influencers, people who will also use their talents, also use their hobbies, also use their passion to reach the world using a forever living product as an umbrella. Now, why am I saying as an umbrella? Because it's a health and wellness company. A company that produces over 400 products that can help every human being on earth, even including animals, your home, homekeeping, okay? So you have, a, and you have a niche for yourself in forever. You have something you can do in forever. And you can use it to touch the world. And not just about touching the world, but also making more money. Like I always tell people, I've not seen a very wealthy man that has only one stream of income, okay? So you can use a forever living product as your second stream of income, and then you join my team so I can teach you how you can use your talent and your hobbies, automation and social media and attraction marketing to be able to make that money you so much need. You know, I always ask people, what will you do with an extra one million every month? Or what will you do with an extra 500,000 Naira every month? 
or maybe your own is not even as ambitious maybe it's just like fifty thousand or hundred thousand extra every month what can it help you to achieve if you have that passion if you have that desire if you have that goal if you have that vision why don't you just click my number and chat me on whatsapp number plus two three four okay chat me on my whatsapp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and just tell me that you you want to join the 100 global influencers and i'll be telling you how you will do so now you don't have to be like me aging with grace you don't have to be like i'll teach you how you can be yourself i'll teach you how you can do what you love doing what you have passion for what you have burden for to make sure you become a global influencer not just a local business person. I know the important thing is that it also helps you, for those of us who are doing business or into consultancy, the training also helps you to know what to do in other areas of life. Hello, welcome, Chinenye Esther. Welcome, Dofan John Agne. Welcome, Ayatollah Titi Lola. Welcome, Pastor Evelyn, to this evening's broadcast. We are all highly welcome. All right, so we're going to the exercises that you need to do, the exercises that you need to try if you're having some kind of um, back pain, okay? The first exercise to try is called partial crunches, okay? I'm going to be showing you the position, and like I said, I'll find time to uh, make sure I, I, I show us not just this, but also doing it for us later on. All right, so the, 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 the first exercise you need to try is partial crunches. Partial crunches can actually help strengthen your back and your stomach muscles, okay? You lie with your knees bent and flat, feet flat on the floor like this, okay? With your knee bent and your feet flat on the floor. I hope we're seeing me. All right, so then what do you do? You tighten your stomach muscles and raise your shoulders off the floor. Then breathe out as you raise your shoulders. Don't lead with your elbows, please. Or use your arm to pull your neck off the floor. Hold for a second, then slowly lower your back again, okay? You repeat this like 10 to 12 times. It will actually help you very well. It will actually help you very well to help your shoulders and your help your back pain, okay, that you're having. This exercise is very, very important. I'm trying to see if I can make it bigger for you to see it, okay. All right. So, and then proper, if you do this exercise very well, it will prevent excessive stress on your lower back. And your feet tailbone and then your lower back will remain in contact with the mat all the times so this will make your back not to pay It's a very very effective exercise you can actually also do it on your bed if you have like orthopedic bed when you wake up and you don't have that energy to get up to go and do exercise so this partial crunch can actually help you very very well you just remain like that for like um like um, about five one minute okay and then you do repeat it to relax again and then you can repeat it again like eight to ten times when you just wake up from the bed it's actually going to go a long way to help you very very well okay another exercise that you can try to do is the hamstring stretch i think i've shown us the hamstring stretch standing before but the hamstring stretch while you are seated is also very very good it's an exercise you can you can actually do while you're seated down um, while you're lying down you can also lie flat okay lie on your back and bend your knees when you've laid on your back and you've bent your knees you can also then use a towel i've taught us that before you use a towel okay and then you will now raise your leg and then you bring it down you raise it and you bring it down so this exercise can actually help you so so well if um i'll show you so this is like a hamstring stretch okay so lying down flat you bend your your one of your legs and then the other one you use tile 
to stretch it up with your knee still bent, okay? And then you will feel that stretch down the back of your leg and you hold it for like 15 to 30 seconds and do it like two to four times for each leg. This will actually help you very, very well. The third exercise you can try is press up back extension. The press up back extension exercise, okay? So you lie on your stomach with your hands under your, your shoulder. You will lie on your stomach. This one is not lying on your back again. This For this exercise, you lie on your shoulder. So when you're lying on your shoulder, then you bring out your arms. Okay, let me show you. So if you lie on your stomach with your hands under your shoulder, okay? Then you push with your hands so your shoulder begin to lift off the floor. It's, if it's comfortable for you, then you put your elbow on the floor directly under your shoulder and hold this position for several times, okay? You hold this position for several times. This is very, very easy. It's also another exercise you can do if you have a very good orthopedic mattress if you're not getting off. But of course, what keeps you off from getting off and even just doing it on the rug on the floor there? This is called press up back extensions and it will help if you're having back ache. But remember what I always tell us, you don't have to, you know, go into exercise having that very serious pain. I have my massage lotion, aloe heat lotion, that can help you. And you know, the beautiful thing about aloe heat lotion is that it harness, harnesses the power of heat and cooling effect using pure 100% stabilized aloe vera gel, menthol and eucalyptus. And it's combined with, emo, you know, some kind of emulent oils that can soothe and relax you. And it goes seven layers deep on your skin. So it gives that soothing effect. It gives that massaging effect. It gives that mental effect with the oils to help to relieve pain very fast. And it's very, very safe even for babies, okay? It's only just that mental feel, which is not very, very um, harsh. So it's very good. So if you're having serious pain, you need to use your aloe massage lotions. And after using your aloe massage lotion, you get up and do your exercise. I can remember someone called me yesterday that she had a very, very stressful day. That was around, around 4 p.m. Um, she's in Enugu State. So around 4 p.m., she was like, what do I do? What do I do? I said, okay, just relax. You're going to have your bath. As you're going to have your bath, I'm going to call our center to send you aloe heat lotion. So I called the center to send her aloe heat lotion and I said, as you come out of your bath, massage all the way from your shoulder all the way to your toes. Massage it very well. If you have someone around, let them massage it. And you just use your hand and slightly, lightly put it over your forehead like this. This is what I do all the time. Any day I have a stressful day. So aloe heat lotion comes in a cream that is very, very, you know, nice. So I just said, so you just put it on your palm a bit and you just massage your forehead with it. So I told her, just make sure after massaging all your body, put it over your forehead. And when you come to the side like this, do a, a little massage because you have one vein that runs around here, okay? And also here, I say, just do a little massage. What will aloe heat do? By the time you finish this kind of massage, it's going to go in deep, like seven layers. And it's going to send you to sleep. So I told her, just cover yourself very well. You will sleep like a baby. Once you wake up, you're going to feel very, very refreshed after that. And she did that. And of course, you know, it's testimony. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So the next exercise that you should be doing is the bed, bed dog. They call it the bed dog exercise. And you start with your hands. You know, you start with your hands and your knees. For the bed dock exercise, you start with your hands and your knees, okay? And then you lift and extend one leg behind you like this, okay? You lift and extend one leg behind you. And then you hold it for five seconds. And then you will now switch to the other leg. And then you repeat it eight to 12 times for each leg. And try to lengthen the time you hold each lift okay then also try lifting and extending your position arm for each repetition this exercise is a, a great way to learn how to stabilize your lower back it's a great way to learn how to stabilize your lower back 
especially during movement of the arms and legs. While doing this exercise, don't let the lower back muscles sag. Okay, only raise the limbs to height where the lower back position can be maintained. So this exercise is very, very important. It's called the bed dog, and it will help you if you're having lower back pains. Okay, then the fifth one is the knee to chest. It's called the knee to chest. It's very, very easy. It's another exercise you can do while you're lying down on the bed. Like I said, you don't need to lie down on the bed. You can always get up, okay? So you lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Can you see? Okay? So you bring one knee to your chest, keeping the other foot flat on the floor. Then you keep your lower back pressed to the floor and you hold it for like 15 to 30 seconds. Then you lower your knee and repeat with other leg you do this two to four times for each leg so that's what you're seeing this is the position you hold for this exercise okay lie on your back and then you do it it's somehow that knee to chest um, exercise look like as if you're lying down flat and you're riding your bicycle while lying down flat okay that's what it looks like all right so the sixth exercise is called pelvic tilt it's called pelvic tilt for pelvic treats tilt you lie on your back with your knees bent feet flat on the floor okay with your feet flat on the floor and then you tighten your stomach by contracting it as though you are preparing to punch that your stomach to go in it's like this this is how the position of this exercise so you will feel your lower back pressing into the floor and your hips and your pelvis rocking back hold for like 10 seconds while breathing in and breathing out smoothly okay and you repeat this exercise eight to twelve times this is also very very good it will also help you with your this exercise will also help you with your back and um, with your core muscles it will help you with your abdominal and belly okay belly fat if you do it frequently and you do it every day you find out that it's going to help be very very helpful for you all right so the seventh one is bridging this bridging, I do it a lot anytime I'm doing my lying exercise and it's very good. But also, if you're having very serious pain, you might not be able to do this bridge exercise. But do it when you're, the pain has become a little um, easier for you. You're feeling a little easier with um, the pain. It's already trying to relieve you. Okay, that's where you can try this exercise. So you lie on your back with your knees bent, okay? and just your heels on the floor like this so you push your heels into the floor squeeze your buttocks and then lift your hips off the floor until your shoulder your hip your knee are on a straight line and then you hold it for like six seconds okay you hold it like for for like six seconds and then slowly lower your hip to the floor and rest for 10 seconds you repeat it 8 to 12 times and avoid aching your back, okay, and your hips. You need to move forward. Avoid also overreaching by tightening your abdominal muscle prior and throughout the lift. So this is also very good. It will help you. And again, remember that I always tell us, don't stay in pain. If you um, have elongated pain, or if you allow the arthritis you're having, like if you're having knee arthritis, ankle arthritis, shoulder arthritis, or these lower back pains, if you allow it and you're managing it, you're having pain, you're managing it, it's going to enter into another secondary disease, which could be either um, diabetes for lack of movement, it could be high blood pressure, that's even the most frequent one. Because when your body is experiencing so much pain for a long time, it will end up um, elevating your blood pressure. So that's why it's very, very important for you to treat pain with very serious, you know, um, timing and then be intentional about it. So I have one super, I call it the miracle set. I don't have the second one here. This is um, Forever Move, okay? Forever Move, it actually helps for better movement and then it also helps to relieve pains and it's very very fast and the good thing about it is that it's all natural made from turmeric okay ginger and also the um eggshell bark so it's very very good it doesn't have that side effect that some anti-steroidal um, medications will have it doesn't any other patient can take it anybody 
at any age actually can take it if you're having very serious pain. All right, so bridging. Bridging is a seventh exercise that I want to talk to us about today. Now, for bridge, you lie on your back with your knees, you know, you lie on your back with your knees bent just on the heels of the floor. And then you push your heels into the floor and then you squeeze your boot up. So this is bridging. I love doing the exercise from time to time. And then you lift your hips off the floor until your shoulder, your hip, and your knees are on a straight line, okay? So that's bridge exercise. Then number eight is weight lifting. Like I told us, every middle age person should have one kind of dumbbell. You don't need to go to the gym to have your dumbbell, okay? And if you but everybody should be able to afford dumbbells. They are very, very affordable, especially those ones wrapped in plastic that are very colorful and nice, okay? You can decide to get your 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg, 5 kg, a range in 10 kgs like that, depending on which one you want. And you do some lifting, some exercise lifting with your dumbbells. I've done a lot of it on my page. You can go on my page, Aging with Great, to check some dumbbell exercises. And you can also do, you see, um, some kind of stretch. Because when, when, um, when you do it properly, lifting weights doesn't usually hurt your back. In fact, it may actually help to relieve chronic pains, okay? But when you have acute and sudden back pain, putting extra stress on your back muscle and ligaments could actually raise the risk for further injury. So if it's very, very intense, if the pain is very, very intense, then you don't have to do this dumbbell exercise. Just get your forever move, okay? So that it can help relieve that pain and then reverse the pain and make sure you're okay and then you can go on with your exercises so this is how if you do a straight stretch of your exercise okay it can help you but if you're having very serious pain like i said when i was starting you need to meet your doctors to help you then another exercise the ninth exercise that can help is aerobic exercise aerobic exercise will strengthen your lung your heart, your blood vessels, and also can help you to lose weight, like swimming, brisk walking, dance, all these are dance aerobics, okay? So they all will help you brisk walking, you can start lightly, then you add in some fast runs and then short ones, and then, you know, briefly, they can help you. Swimming is fantastic, and also biking, all this will help reduce your lower back pain. And then you need to start with short sessions, and then build up over time if you're having back pain and you've not been working you don't have to get up and walk for two hours you can just do like five ten minutes walk the next time you do like 10 15 minutes walk okay you keep increasing it okay and if your back is hurting you, you should try swimming because the water can also support your back or if you have a very large bathtub you can stay on it for a long time and try to see if you can lie down on your back and allow you can do all these exercises i've mentioned if you have a very large bathtub or jacuzzi okay it will help you because water helps to cushion so it's also very very good and then you need to avoid strokes that will twist your body if you're having back aches and you're going on swimming then the tenth exercise is pilot moves okay pilot especially with our fitness ball it's a pity because it's a short holiday. I didn't come with my fitness ball. I didn't want to deflate and pump just in two days, okay? But fit, fitness ball exercise is fantastic. And you can go on my page and put pilot of fitness ball exercises. You will see a lot of um, some samples and practices I've done with them. They are very, very good because they combine stretching, strengthening, and core and abdominal exercises. And you know, when you do it very well, like if you follow my page, you'll see how I've taught them. It will help you with the back pain, okay? So all these exercises are the things you need. But like I said, don't die in silence. Don't allow pain to kill you. Make sure you handle that pain very fast. You can use our aloe heat lotion, okay? Very, very good if, you're, if you need immediate relief and you need reversal of such pain, go on our forever move and our active and make sure you just click that link to become one of the global influencers 
that I'm raising in 2022, okay? Like I tell people, we might not have that opportunity next year. I might become very, very busy that I will not have time to train us. So I'm going to take our questions now if we have any and then greet us and then we'll call it a day. Hello, greetings, Taiwo Lovett from UK. You're welcome. Taiwo, where in UK are you based? I'll be in UK very soon. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> All right, Taiwo, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome. Miriam Eteng, it's been a while. Miriam, how are you? It's been a while, oh, Miriam. I've not seen your hand. I'm sure you understand what I mean. <laughs> Miriam is one of my long-standing customers, and she uses the product, and she sees the benefits of the product. Hello, Amara Chus, you're welcome. Good morning. Excellent morning to you all. Abosede Lawani, welcome. God bless you. Oh, you're in Colchester. Wow, it's good, Shem. You're joining me today. I'll pin it, and then when I'm in UK, I'm going to be telling you. Hello, Ginika. How are you? Onyeka, how are you? Oh, your network is bad. Don't worry. You can watch the replay, and I'll show you some of the samples. And maybe by next week, get your kits ready by next week, Saturday. We're going to be trying out these exercises, even if it's not for you, but so that you can teach. Remember what I said? Be a transferable person when they transfer to you, when you learn, be able to share with others either by sharing this video to friends and family, especially the elderly ones. These exercises I show you are very easy for anyone, even 70 80, to do because most of them you can lie down on the bed to do them, you can lie on the rug to do them. So, any age is good for any age as long as you're having lower back pain. And you know that. Back pain and lower back pain is one of the diseases that the elderly people are having. So you need to also teach your parents, teach your mother, teach your father. You know, there's one lady that really blew my mind last week. I was so, so, so impressed by her love attitude. She got a set of Forever Move and Activate for her parents, her father, her mother, her husband's father, her husband's mother. And you know, it was so, so nice. Four sets. I had to actually give her a very good discount for that love that she was showing. So show love to your parents, show love to your uncles, to your aunties, to those elderly ones that are having pain. These are some of the things we can do to help them. And as you do it, God will bless you. Hello, Juliet, watching from Dubai. Wow, thank you. God bless you, Juliet. Thank you for joining us from Dubai. God bless you real good. All right, so thank you all. For joining me today, we'll call it a day. See you on Monday. On Monday, we like on last week, Monday, we treated 70 symptoms of menopause. Okay, we ran through it's fantastic. If you've not watched that video, just click on my page and write menopause. It will be one of the first that will come up. 70 symptoms of menopause. It's a fantastic video that you need to share to all your loved ones. Share to every woman that is 35 years and above because knowledge is power. Share it and let people just, let's give information, let's give knowledge, let's give solution to people so that they will be able to be helped more. So thank you for joining me. So during that video, some people raised some of the most common symptoms that they want me to delve into. And if you still want to say any, you can still put it down on the comment section on this video, okay? I'm going to be delving much into them teaching you natural remedies, some of the foods and how you can combine them that will help you if you're having such menopausal symptoms like hot flushes. Do you know that cutting out some foods, removing some foods from your diet can reduce the hot flushes you're having? Do you know that also eating some kind of food can help remove and reduce hot flushes? So some of these things are what we're going to be looking at. On Monday so join me 8 p.m. on Monday and we're going to be treating that thank you all for joining me today don't forget on Wednesday on Wednesday we are going to be making um, some kind of food again healthy 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 that can help you foods that are healthy okay thank you for joining me love you all bye and make sure you share this video okay share 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 and God keep blessing you have a lovely weekend and make sure you remain motivated and happy. Bye. <laughs>